there are endless possibilities in PowerPoint. We just need some creativity to do it. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a four step target slide or you can just say the setting goal slide also. So if you can see here, I have put a target here when I click a dot comes and hit the target and then when I click it will show you the first title, then the second, third and the fourth. Here if you can see this dot, I have given kind of a 3D look and one more slide I have made it with as a flat look. When I click, you can see it's flat look. So let's see how to do this uh, dart infographics design in PowerPoint. Add the new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes, under rectangles, select rounded corner rectangle, draw this much size and make it fully curved. And then you can reduce the size, maybe this much. Shape outline, make it no outline. And then I'm going to say align center and align middle. Then I'm going to insert shapes. I'm going to select under rectangles. This is the rectangle top corner rounded. Just make it maybe this much size. And make it fully curved and just rotate a little bit here like this and i'll just increase the size let me just change the color make it no outline so i'm going to cut from this part you can see here i want to cut from here for that go to insert shapes select a rectangle and exactly put it from this line And I'm going to select this and then this under format merge shape just say subtract so you got this shape here and I'm going to press ctrl D to duplicate this go to rotate and flip vertical put it at the bottom so you got the shape here and you can just select one more press ctrl D to duplicate give a different color reduce the size and put it at the back rotate more and just say send to back so you can see here at the back also let me just make it more down and if you want you can just reduce also so you can see here the back side also this particular feather is there now and if you want to add one more in the front let me just select this press ctrl d to duplicate give a different color and then you can just reduce the size and put it here and just uh, turn a little So you can just do it maybe you can increase the size a little bit so you can just add like this here so you got the one two three and four wings and then you can just change the color maybe some lighter colors Like this you can change the colors and then you can add the front. Let me just reduce the size a little bit. Go to insert shapes. Under basic shapes select the trapezoid. Make the small trapezoid. Rotate it. and rotate it I will just say flip horizontal here and I'm going to add one rectangle maybe this much size select both make it no outline let me just give this a different color and then press ctrl D to duplicate and rotate it again 
and you can see here our design is ready for this let me just reduce it because it is very big and and one more the last one which is go to insert shapes select a triangle make it a small triangle rotate it 90 degrees right and put it here send to back so you can see here our dart design is ready now let me just hide this uh, guides so you can see here the design is there let me just select all you can just highlight all and just move towards the left and then you can add four options here go to insert sorry go to insert shapes select again the same rectangle top corner rounded and make it fully rounded from the top and put it at the top and make it no outline and then you can change the color as per your requirement then press ctrl d rotate it and exactly place it here and then again ctrl d this is the third one and ctrl d this is the fourth one and then you can just change the color So four colors I have added and then you can add the icons and the text to add the icons go to insert icons select any four icons and put it one by one here The icon size is very big. I can select all this icon by holding the shift key and I'm going to make it 0.5. And if you want, you can just change the color to white. And add the title to it. make center align and put it exactly here control D to duplicate and add below also now you can add one target board for that go to insert shapes select a oval shape draw one oval shape shape outline make it no outline and you can give some light gray color press ctrl d to duplicate and give some dark gray color reduce the size put it exactly in the center Control D one more and I'm going to give a red color maybe reduce the size again in the center or you can just select all these three align center align middle Control G to group it then right mouse click go to format shape under effects select 3d rotation and I'm going to select maybe this one perspective left and you can just using the x rotation change this one and if you want 3d format also you can go and increase the depth and just play it exactly place exactly here and send this to back
and the dart is facing the target here so you can see here the design is ready and we need to group it and then do the animation so before adding the animation let me just select these three these objects the one two and three highlight it and control g to group it or you can do one like this also select this hold the shift key and do it control g to group it here also i'm going to select highlight this control g again highlight this control g and i'm going to group the full dart except these and i'm going to say control g to group it so you can see here it has become one full dart then let's do the animation to do the animation i will select this dart first animation enable the animation pane and just say fly in fly in i have to say from left so it comes like this if you see here it comes like this double click you can make somewhat bounce effect and timings very fast so you can see there's a bounce effect also and then this should come for this i'm going to use a animation called stretch say okay and say from bottom so it should come like this and if you want you can add some more text on top of it also so this is first animation painter this is second and this one should happen from top then i'm going to use select this animation and copy to this and this animation i'm going to copy to this so if i play this one now so it's simple to do it in powerpoint That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.